by Brentech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is going to be bringing an assistance hub to the Edge web browser. Now, in the latest version uh, of Microsoft Edge Canary, a new assistance hub has been added to the browser. And I have Edge Canary open, which is a pre-release unstable version of the Edge browser used for testing and experimenting. And I've actually been waiting for this feature for over a month now, but it was on a controlled um, you know, rollout. It wasn't available to all. And today when I updated my Edge Canary, I noticed that the feature had been added. So what it is, is a little light bulb that appears in the toolbar. And when you hover over it, it says assistance. And then when you click on it, a little drop down fly out menu appears. And what this is, is it basically is going to give assistance to features of Microsoft Edge. And I think this is going to appeal mainly to users who are migrating over from a, another web browser and don't really know their way around the Edge web browser. So this will just take you to some features and just some quick links to show you around the Edge browser and basically just assist you. So you can see here what's new and tips. Set Microsoft Edge as your default browser. Get more with Microsoft Edge PDF Reader and so on. So it's really just a, an assistance hub that takes you to the built-in features of Edge where obviously if you are a new user coming across this would be you know quite useful. Now this is not available in the stable version of Edge at the moment. It is only available in Microsoft Edge Canary and as I say I only received the assistance hub today but it has been in Edge Canary for over a month now and then if you just go to your top right to your three dotted menu and you go to settings and appearance we can see here that if you know obviously if you don't want it in your Microsoft Edge web browser because obviously if you know your way around Microsoft Edge you won't need to use this assistance hub what you can do is you can just toggle it off and you can see it's gone and then you can pop it back on and then Another way you can access the assistance hub is if we go back to our three dotted menu and we go down to help and feedback, we can see here now there's a new entry called assistance and that just opens the drop down fly out menu as well. So I think, you know, eventually when this does make its way down to a stable version, I think, you know, for people and users coming across from other web browsers, it's going to really help them to navigate around the Edge web browser. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.